Today we'll take a look at uh, recent hunt in northern Tanzania. And both uh, camps were in Maasai land. So on the eastern side was where the hunt started. It was in the Ngasarai hunting area, which lies uh, smack bang between Mount Kilimanjaro and uh, Mount Miru. The second camp was closer to uh, Lake Natron, and we'll take a look at that in a, in a different video. The Ngasarai camp was uh, typical of the uh, East African type hunting camps. It was set up uh, canvas uh, tents and a uh, very practical layout. Uh, it was nestled in a euphorbia forest. Some of these trees uh, truly remarkably in size. Uh, very practical uh, fire pit and uh, fire uh, relaxation area for the evenings. It had a wall bolt around it, which uh, surprised us a little bit in the beginning, but it was very practical. We were hunting in August. It was dry, uh, but very, very windy. Uh, so that uh, wall was really welcome in the evenings when we sat around the fire. The uh, mess tent uh, is a very, very uh, practical layout. Uh, on the front, it has an uh, area to just lounge around and relax. All the meals were enjoyed uh, within the mess tent. And it's truly amazing the quality of meals that these guys can come up with uh, during the, the day and especially in the evenings with a three-course meal. And then, uh, you know, the uh, accommodations were set up in a very similar way. Uh, you have a canvas tent with uh, a sleeping area in the front and an ensuite bathroom with hot and cold water in the back. What follows uh, is a little bit of footage of the different animals that we hunted. And I would like to apologize just for the sound quality. Uh, the wind was blowing like hell in Tanzania at the time when we hunted. And it does interfere a little bit. And then uh, my editing skills are not as great as I would like them to be. Uh, but I think you'll very much get the picture of each and every animal. And uh, it'll make sense. Uh, We were unbelievably lucky to run into a very old lesser kudu bull on day one and actually harvest it. The old bull was uh, actually browsing on a thorn bush. Uh, we and uh, the shot was taken at about 107 yards. Uh, unbeknownst to us, he was actually blind in the, in the right eye. And, uh, but a very nice old dark trophy bull and uh, better take it on day one and not get it at all. Ik daar op zijn basis zo wat goed hij een beetje secondary groei daar en dan lekker gebrek op op punten daar. En daar de achtergrond. Kijk ze, kijk ze voor ons. Kilimanjaro. well-worn wounds, ivory taps. Thanks. 
I was very fortunate to have Ernest Dyson of Spear Safaris uh, guide me on this hunt in Tanzania. And I, uh, I doubt very much you'd find a pH that'll work harder uh, to get good quality trophies. Uh, really, really a, a very pleasant experience. Everything very well organized and uh, truly a great adventure. Something that did uh, su pleasantly surprise me in Tanzania was really the, uh, I'm going to call it the pure joy uh, that the trackers and camp staff and even the uh, government scout took in, in harvesting a good trophy. These guys all worked very hard. Uh, they tracked well, they spotted well. Uh, and uh, I mean, it was just amazing to experience uh, the joy that they had uh, when uh, everything was said and done after a hunt. I think something that may have added a little bit of value is both my wife and I learned some very basic Swahili before we went, and it enabled us to talk a little bit to them uh, in their native language, which I think uh, it just shows respect to, to, to the people. And I think it, it just breaks down barriers and walls and makes it more uh, a lot more enjoyable for everybody. Yeah, Ernest, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Man. A very, very nice uh, drum gazelle after a lovely stalk. Breaking ground here, cold morning. Uh, we didn't even know we were here. About 150 yards uh, single shot, and we went down. Very, very lovely trophy. Thank you. Nice, thank you very much, man. Uh, really lovely Grand Gazelle after a very nice stalk on a very cold morning. Lovely broken ground. And, you know, we didn't even know we were here. The Thompson Gazelle was by far the most challenging gazelle to hunt on this trip. Uh, I think purely due to their size and the fact that they would run whenever they saw people. Something very different hunting Maasai land is encountering Maasai on a daily, daily basis with their animals. Uh, you'll find them with cattle, you'll find them with big herds of sheep and goats. And I think it's important to be sensitive uh, to these people as this is where they live. That concludes uh, the hunt between Mount Mira and Mount Kilimanjaro out of the camp called Gas Rai, uh, which in Maasai language means place of snakes. On this specific hunt, uh, you can see it's very open terrain. I used a 300 Holland in Holland and 180 grain and Nosler Acumon Willis uh, performed without fault uh, every single time.